a big idea. Hey there. Word reaches across the wastes of your deeds. I'm honored to have you among us. Then you've been busy. Good. Show me what you have. So many of the unjust have been dispatched, but so many remain. But ever still, word reaches me that you have gone far beyond what we've asked. Good deeds should not go unrewarded, and so I will add on a bonus to your normal bounty. Yeah, see ya. Yes? Well, I'm quite busy, so please be brief. We have so much to do putting him back together again. I am uncertain as to how long it might take. Months? Years? The only bright side in this is an opportunity to try and rebuild Prime from the ground up. Make improvements on his original design. If only we hadn't exhausted so many of our supplies fighting the Enclave. Goodbye. Please come back if you find anything interesting. Hail. Ah, oh, yes. Is there something you wish to discuss? It would be naive of me to assume the Enclave threat is completely eradicated from our future. With their resources and advanced mobility, I wouldn't be surprised if we see them return to the Capital Wasteland one day. Until we meet again, do take care. If there's anything I can do to help, please just say so. You have? Oh my. This brings to light a sad affair for the Brotherhood, but perhaps it is something that you can assist us with. If you have the time, I have an offer for you. Good. As I'm sure you've noticed, the Brotherhood operates all over the DC ruins, often detached from the main base here at the Citadel. We are short on communication equipment. So many of the groups in the field operate as independent cells, without standing orders. Sometimes, I'm afraid that their missions end in their deaths. As Keeper of the Scrolls, it's my charge to write of each Fallen Brother's deeds. 
Exactly. A brother fallen in the field may have no one to carry word of his death back to me. In calmer times, we could send detachments and messengers to learn their fates. But with our manpower stretched thin, we have no such luxury. Which is why I must now ask you for your help. Each brother wears a holotag like the one you found. Should you find any of the fallen brethren in the field, I ask that you return their tags to me, so that I might record their deeds in the scrolls. As you wish. Just remember, more tags, more reward. I know how you outsiders think. You Should you... Scrolls are kept by the head librarian of each Brotherhood bunker. The scrolls are a record of the Brotherhood itself. Into each scroll is written the name and deeds of each of our brothers. Battles, what technology is recovered, when he was promoted, everything. The last entry for each brother is that brother's death. It is important, as the way a man dies is just as important as the manner in which he lives. And so, each man who nobly serves the Brotherhood ascends into our history to be remembered by those who come after him. They are on our fallen brothers throughout the DC ruins. However, I can't give you a full report on the locations of all of our operations. As I said, many of the units in the field operate independently, sometimes not reporting into the Citadel for weeks or months. As I told you, with the increase in super mutant activity and Elder Lion's edicts regarding our goals, we are critically short on manpower. Any soldier that I would ask to do this task is one less soldier fighting in the field or defending the Citadel. As much as I hate to involve outsiders, it is necessary if I am to properly maintain the scrolls to honor the dead. We have access to a great deal of technology, and because of that, there are a number of things that we can continue to produce. I will be able to offer you caps for the tags you bring me, but from time to time, I will be able to give you something a bit more interesting. Yes, what about them? Have you? It saddens me to hear of my fallen brethren, but their names and deeds shall be records. Tell me, how many have you found? Their names shall be written into the scrolls to be remembered forever. As for you, Here's your reward. Use it well and in good health. I look forward to our next meeting. Saved my life. I won't forget it. I can't travel yet, but I'll be back on my feet soon, thanks to you. I never expected help from a stranger in the wasteland.
Hello, hello. I can't stop to chat just now. That's over. Hello? That thing would have killed us all without your help. Thanks. Listen, you may as well take this map. That's where we were headed, but that Deathclaw cured me of my itch for wasteland adventure. Outsider, you have arrived. Please, come closer. I have something of the utmost urgency to speak to you about. Do hurry. He doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us, and he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. If you wouldn't mind following me, I'll bring you right to him. I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Why, he is, of course. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, all will be explained. Excellent. Please, follow me. All will be explained soon. Welcome, outsider. Like the Great One himself, we welcome you with outstretched arms. We're very pleased to see you, Outsider. Welcome. Rejoice! The Great One wishes to see you. Welcome to Oasis, Outsider. Well, you have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, Outsiders are forbidden inside Oasis, but he has made an exception. No, I suppose you haven't. In fact, few who live outside of Oasis have. Everything you see around you, from the tallest tree to the smallest blade of grass, is a gift. A gift from him. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives, and he is the one who guides. No one speaks his name out of reverence for his majesty. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I understand your hesitation. The Great One is a god tree. A living, breathing, speaking god tree. The tree minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. He gives to us, so we give back to him. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. 
We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place, and sometimes we're forced to defend ourselves against it. If that means fighting with manufactured weapons, then so be it. Had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten this close to the gates. Yes, indeed it does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. You'd be the first outsider to do so in a very long time. Yes, person. To meet him. You must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. Very good. Take your place in front of the basin, and let's begin. You are ready? Drink from the basin. We will now recite the blessing to ward off any harm the outsider may be carrying before he proceeds to the grove. I beg you depart, agents of destruction, to the power of his divine will. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but pass over into places where you can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you and diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. All this, may he be so good as to grant us, who is to come to judge the living and the dead, and the world by his verdure. Amen. Soon, you will pass peacefully into sleep, outsider, and when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. 